A very good afternoon from the sports desk. There is now only one South African franchise left in the United Rugby Championship. The Stormers are flying the country's flag among three Irish tricolours. This as they look to go all the way once again and defend the title they won last year. The Cape side take on Connacht in the Mother City today. That one starting at 4 o'clock. It is the, one of the semi-finals. Victory will see coach John Dobson's men face another Irish outfit in either Leinster or Munster because those two are going up against each other in an Irish derby. Joining us now to preview this match is ENCA's sports reporter Justin Ford. Uh, good afternoon to you, Ford. I mean, listen, the talking has been happening, um, but it stops now. 4 o'clock is when Dobbo essentially sends out his 23 to try and get South Africa back into the final of a URC and potentially a st step further than that and win this competition. And I mean, last year was important. Last year was huge. Last year was necessary. I think this year is even bigger because it is a Rugby World Cup year. It essentially sends the message to the world that South Africa really wants to defend its title. Absolutely. Good afternoon to you, Morena, from a beautiful DHL stadium, a rather windy one. The sun's out, but we will not be fooled by the sun. The wind, they call it the Black South Ether because it's just absolutely vicious. At least that's what the meteorologists call it. But nonetheless, uh, that will play its part today, no doubt. You know, a kicking game in a wind like this, both teams will have to, to, to be really strong at that. But coming back to what you were talking about, an important match without a doubt. Uh, you know, last year the Storm was playing the Bulls here in the final and beating the Bulls in the final, being crown champions. Many were like, ah, uh, you know, that was just a fluke. The Storm was went unbeaten without, throughout that season. Uh, they finished second on the log this time around and really hopefully go into this match uh, with a bit of form. They faced Connacht two times already in this competition, the history of the competition, at least the South African team's involvement in the competition, and they've beaten them twice. But four will count for nothing. Um, it's the, or at least history will count for nothing. It's four that really is going to count uh, in ev for everything when the two teams uh, run out here at four o'clock. The gates open at one o'clock, at least half past one this afternoon. So fans are slowly starting to trickle in. And I think it's that fans thing that is important as well to this DHL Stormers team. John Dobson in the week talking about, he understands that the bulk of the support base uh, potentially not as affluent as many of the others but last week uh, against the Bulls there was an excess of 44,000 people at this DHL stadium um, and they expect more uh, at least similar if not more this weekend um, and I think that's just the true testament of not only the sort of you know the fan base but also the tough rugby that the Stormers are playing and I think that's the big out that they can pull through today and in the hope of reaching the final the victory is obviously going to be the big thing first and foremost where they're going to play that final is a different ball game. We'll only obviously find out after that Leinster Munster match. Uh, one thing we've come to realize about Dobbo is that he believes very much in depth. You know, so he will lose one or two of his star players, his preferred players. Uh, he's lost Evan Bruce sometime during the season. Sabelo Sinatla himself has also been a bit of a casualty sometime this season. We've now got uh, Dion Fury, who unfortunately couldn't get back to fitness in time to, to come into that particular team. But he always has somebody to turn to, to essentially step up and show off. What is he looking like in terms of his team um, and what is, where is he going to be relying to essentially get the game um, over the line for him? Absolutely, and I think that is a very big point that you make there. You, depth in the squad has not always necessarily been the, the strongest point, but he's believed in his youth. He's, you know, despite the uh, boardroom dramas that this team has had, or at least the federation and the union has had, Davos focused on the team, focused on the development of this team, um, and I think that's where you know his work really lies. Like you mentioned, Dion Free, the likes of Marvin Ori, also not making it into this team. Ben Jason Dixon, um, Billing Engelbrecht, that was brought into this side as well. Uh, Vital Cox in the wheel. I mean, you've got Franz Malherbe, Stephen Kitsov, um, you know, leading the charge up front. I mean, how better, um, you know, do you want by having these World Cup winners starting up front? Uh, Marnie Libok, what an amazing um, time he's had at the Stormers. Um, you know, tough times up north as well as uh, on the coast at the Sharks, but he's really shown that the belief that Davos had in him. Um, and I think it comes down to that man management, just leveling down to these players and understanding what these players are really about. That's what's been able to give him that, you know, X factor. Then we have the likes of Damon Willem to Ruan Nell, 
um, Angelo Davids, you know, players that can really switch it on at any given moment in time. Um, you know, the, the, the Irish side, the Canuck side with Bandio Aki, solid, solid midfield as well. But I mean, with that being said, I think the Stormers will hope that this, you know, stadium will be compact to, to support them and, and, and carry them over and really just do the business, as they call it, because ultimately this is what this team really wants, for not only for themselves, but for the people um, of the Western Cape and South Africa, because as you mentioned as well, they are representing South Africa at the moment in this tournament. They most definitely are. Just in five seconds before we, I let you go, I'm going to put your head on the block here. He goes into the final, does jo uh, John Dobson, and as we would hope he does, he wins this competition. I would hope at the expense of Leinster, who've been the best team this season. Do you think this puts him in the pound seat for the Springbok job? I'll tell you what he has said, and I think I believe him when he says that. He's got unfinished business with the, uh, the journey that he's taken this team on. And I feel that once he uh, is able to, to, to conquer Europe in terms of the Champions Cup, then I think he might consider it. But for now, John Dobson is a Stormers man, a Western Province man through and through, and we'll see sort of after that. But it is unfinished business within this union that he wants to, to complete before he thinks about any Springbok job.